Singapore is one of Asia's most visited cities with nearly 20 million tourists visiting each year. We wanted to find out what it was like to stay in Singapore's top rated hotel. Thank you so much, thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We are checking in to the best rated hotel in all of Singapore and already this is a very nice lobby. What is your name? Hoda. 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 Okay, Say thank you. This is for you. Say thank you. Okay, well, He's giving you this as payment. He's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually we have this treasure hunt maps here. Ah, wow. So all you have to do, this is actually the hotel itself. Amazing. So all you have to do is walk around the hotel. Have you got a new hat? Is that your hat? So we have checked in and in this video we wanted to show you exactly what it's like staying here and using all the features that they have because to be honest with you we're kind of blown away and we think there's a reason that this is a top rated hotel here because George and I are very frequent travellers. We've stayed in a lot of hotels, three star, four star, five star, you name it, we've stayed in it. And also back in the day when we weren't this old we had our fair share of hostels as well but we're not about that life anymore. So we're gonna start this video with a quick room tour and we are staying in the family deluxe room. So because we're traveling with our one-year-old son, Coda, who is currently exploring, they've given us the family playcation, like stay and play package that they have, which includes this room and some other bits, which we'll show you later. But anyway, let's start the room tour here. We've come in through the main door and I think this is a card, but a full-sized fridge freezer. That is incredible. I've never seen that in a hotel, ever. That is next level, what? How amazing. So, then we've got the little luggage space here as you come through, straight into the bathroom, very nice bathroom, sink area, ow, huge ow. mirror. What's that, oh? It's okay. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Big walk-in shower, nice rainfall. Lovely product as well. They are Locatan products, which is very fancy for a hotel. They've also included loads of stuff for codes, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, little baby products, which is really sweet. Toilet just around here. And something really great is they've provided nappies, wipes, and a step up for the toilet. So they've really thought of kids, and this, this floor is really cool because it's like the, ki the family floor, and there's a family pantry around the corner, which we'll show you later. Big wardrobe with three robes. One for George and I each, and of course a little one for Coda with the matching small slippers at the bottom there. Coffee machine, and Coffee. fully kitted out amenity Coffee. little tray. Wow. Where is it? Okay, what do we have here? Coda's gonna show us. Can you open this one? Ooh, what's that? Right. Wait. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's water. Great. Yeah, water, yeah. <laughs> cool, so like a full coffee station here. Some nice little English <laughs> breakfast <laughs> teas, very nice. Oh, wow. Look at these. Apple. There's duck. That's so for you. Cool. That's from there. Mama, they shop yeah, for ducks. Mama, They're more are they? Let's be Mama, real with it. I thought they were yeah. toy ducks. You want the orange? Have the apple first, and we'll have the orange later. Wow. Honey. Australian honey. Yum. Mm. Honey on crumpets. Um, very nice um, wardrobes here. A uh, hairdryer. Mm. Got a safe, a safe inner drawer. Very cool. It's all been very well done, hasn't it? So Coda's bed is just... Oh, I really want to know what's in the other two drawers. You just left... Oh, sorry. You just left me hanging there. Well, they haven't got little tags on. Oh, so maybe they're... I've nothing. Oh, laundry bag. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think it's better that's, if I just left it that's as it just, was, I don't... Yeah, I just was too curious. <laughs> uh, bed for Coda. Very nice. I actually come kind of jealous. I want this car at home more than our car. It's very nice. The bed is very large. Very large bed. Size test thing. For reference, I am seven foot four. <laughs> No, I'm, what am I? Five foot seven. Five foot eight. Five foot eight? Five foot nine. Where am I? Five nine, I think. I think five eight and a half. TV, desk, very nice. And then a den for Coda. How cool is this? A den with a view. Looking out over the very rainy Singapore right now, but you can see the swimming pool. And a pretty nice little city view here. This is a really nice feature. This is so cute. And you can like read his bedtime stories on here and stuff. And play on your den. Is this your den? Oh my God. Why are they so nice? Yes, I already am in my robe. My other clothes are underneath it, but I'm in the hotel spirit, what can I say? I don't know if there's much better than like 
having no plans for the next 24 hours but enjoy a hotel. Like, isn't that just... I love it. I love the hotel lifestyle. Whilst Lucy unpacks, I'm going to do a bed comfort test. I mean, it is very big, so size is one thing, but comfort is another. Oh. Oh. Lucy, you're going to love this. Oh, wow. So comfy. Is it two beds put together? I actually don't think it is. And if it is, they've hidden it very well. Oh, mattress is super comfy. The pillows, you just sink into them. Pillows are everything in a hotel. And you can see here how, look, how soft that is. Oh, I think this could be the best pillows we've ever had. So where should we go for dinner? <laughs> are you playing, do that again? Nice, I put some accordion music in. <laughs> Currently trying to choose from one of the many restaurants. Chinese restaurant, which looks really good. Singaporean restaurant, always good. The line, which is like the breakfast buffet area that I think has like a, maybe a dinner buffet. Yeah. Uh, so much choice. I don't know. I do feel a bit sick though because I just ate a box of chocolates. So I'm not sure I can eat yet. Italian restaurant. Steak restaurant. Hmm. Where would you like to go for dinner? You pick. Pick one of these pictures. Which one? Point to one. Emma? This one. Um, that's a bar with cocktails. So one more. Pick a different one. Which one? Aida. Aida. He just wants the bar. Which one do you want to pick? Bar. This one? Egg. Egg, yeah. He loves egg, so. Egg. <laughs> he wants the egg. Should we go to the egg restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Also, a very quick shout out to the team here. Very, very friendly, very smooth check in. And the Shangri La actually invited us here for a couple of nights to make this video possible. So a big, big thank you to the marketing team here. Much better. heading out now to check out the kids play area and then we're gonna go for a meal at the Chinese restaurant on site because that's the kind of food we fancy. What is it? White arrow. White arrow? But first I'm gonna show you the pantry on this floor which is very cool. I can't quite believe this room. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. This does not feel like a hotel. This feels like, I don't know what this feels like. It's, it's unbelievable. So we've got a bottle steriliser. We've got pumps for laundry detergent and stain removal. We've got washers and dryers. Got an entire stock cupboard with strollers, toys, more nappies, loads of games, high chairs, newborn sets for high chairs, all perfectly packaged up, diaper genie things. It's unbelievable. A whole section to wash your bottles with like baby bottle cleaners, a microwave, all these things. And as a parent who has travelled a lot with a one year old, if you were coming here and you didn't have to bring all of the little things that you have to remember, that would just be the biggest weight lifted ever, the biggest relief. Are you sitting on the set? So quickly switching to the phone because I didn't want to bring a huge camera into this area when there's loads of kids everywhere, not appropriate, but, oh, should go this way. But we are now in Buds, which is like the kids play area and it's, it's amazing. It's like a fully fledged soft play and Cody's just running around and enjoying it. It's really cool though. They've got so much different stuff here. This is like the space themed area. But yeah, it's quite busy, so I didn't want to like get the camera out down there and like film all the kids or anything, but it's amazing that this is part of the hotel. And in as part of the play, stay and play we've got, we have three hours a day here included, like three hours per night of the stay. Um, so this is amazing. This is, this is a very unexpected part of a hotel stay. Uh, I know we had a very cool room recently with a ball pit in, but this is a hotel with like a fully fledged soft play area which is amazing it's the sort of thing that you usually have to leave the hotel to go and find when you travel with kids but i feel like this hotel just want to keep you in the hotel <laughs> they just have everything you'd ever want and ever need here it's hilarious Buds and it was 
supposed to be unexpected. They even have like a whole area where you can like paint and get messy. They've got a little under fours area, which we went in at the end, which is really nice. And a cafe with like kid friendly food as well. So very impressive. But now uh, we took Coda away, which was a struggle. <laughs> he definitely didn't want to leave, but we're going to go back tomorrow. And we've come to the lobby now, which is like uh, the lobby lounge. And it's the center of the hotel. It's one of the most beautiful views here. We've got the big staircase behind me. We've got amazing views of all these different sculptures. There's sculptures that have almost been squished down so it looks like they're underwater. And my dream one day is to have a house with art like that and it's just stunning. Um, so we've ordered some food. It's got quite a, like a Singaporean menu, I would say. So we've ordered some traditional dishes. Um, we've got chicken curry, chicken satay beef noodles, egg. egg, have we got some egg coming? Yeah. What do you have? We ordered Coda the Sweet and Sour Sea Bass, which looks good. I think I mentioned earlier about the Chinese restaurant, but it's actually not open yet. So I think we're gonna check that out in another video tomorrow. But yeah, really happy to be here right now, taking in these views and hopefully very soon have some delicious food. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. About you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day. So we went for the sweet and sour sea bass for Coda, and they've made a little bear rice art there, which is cute. <laughs> is that your bear? They also moved us to a bigger table, which we're very grateful for because we've ordered quite a lot of food. It's a very kind of luxurious experience here for sure. People are having afternoon tea, everyone's a little dressed up. I actually feel quite underdressed, but I don't really have any nice clothes. I don't even have long trousers with me on this trip at all. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, look at that. The, the thick sauce there, it looks amazing. Wow, the food is excellent. Sometimes at hotels, the food can be okay or good or average and often you just stay at a hotel and then you want to go outside and find the local restaurants and find the really well rated good food places but this is high-end food right here this is luxury dining this is very very good the curry's delicious the noodles are great very delicious i'm looking forward to tucking into these spring rolls so they look crispy the chicken satay is really good coda seems to be enjoying his is it nice Nice piece of lettuce. Can't fault the food here at all. And by the way, for transparency, everything you hear us say in this video, even though Shangri-La have invited us to stay, they have not, they've not told us what to say. All of our opinions and our kind of review on this experience is fully our own. A really nice message from you. When has he left you a message? Shall I read it out? Hi, Coda. I am happy to meet a friendly kid like you. Enjoy your stay with us. Look. Bye-bye. Oh, you got a new toy. Who's this? Squirrel. Yeah. Is it, wait, is that a squirrel? Is I it? Think, I think so. What is it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Is it? Because it's separate here. Is it a squirrel? Um, Hilarious. That's so cute. Uh, and bubbles. Look, space bubbles. Ready? Do you want bubbles? Coda, can you face forward? <laughs> They really seem to go the extra mile here. Yeah. Really nice. And I just went to the pantry and picked out some toys for him. Daddy, He's got like a new Daddy. dinosaur for now and he can just play a little way here. Anyone with kids knows how Daddy. good it is having like a new toy for a bit, something different, something exciting. And because we're traveling so much, we've got, you want it out? We've got such a limited selection of toys. I think this is a bath toy. Bath toy. Bath yeah. toy. <laughs> Hey, Koda is asleep and I've just finished a workout at the gym and I have to say, I mean I also wanted to film a bit more but there was loads of people so I didn't want to film them but amazing gym, like every machine and we've said in a lot of hotels we've been at that it's the best one but I think this has just taken the lead because there's just literally <laughs> There's literally everything, every piece of equipment. It, it felt more like the kind of gym that you'd pay quite a lot of money per month to go to and not just like a, a normal hotel gym, so incredible. There's also a like a hot tub, a jacuzzi, sauna, steam rooms, nice dressing rooms, a locker room, places to get ready and dry your hair afterwards, really nice. And I grabbed an apple on the way out because there was a bowl of freshly washed apples, so pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm gonna head back to the room now, have a shower, and we're gonna to head to bed, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the buffet breakfast here. We're gonna carry on this vlog into the next day to show you the full experience. 
I'm very excited for breakfast already. That workout has got me hungry. And when we, well, I didn't film it because we were getting coded to bed, but when they did the turn down service this evening, there was, I'm lost, it's this way. There was a, um, this works, the brand, little pillow mist, like lavender sleep mist on the pillow which again, what a, what a lovely touch. All these little things that just make it feel extra special and you can certainly see why this is the best rated place to stay here. Good morning. We slept incredibly well on that very comfy bed. Slept all the way through until 6 a.m. when Koda woke up saying, Daddy, help please, which is what he says when he wants me to take him out of the cot. And he went straight over to play in that den with his new toys, but now, we are here at breakfast. Lucy and I are breakfast buffet. That's, what's the word? Connoisseurs. What's that other word? Aficionado. 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 Aficionados. Is that, I don't know if that's the word. Have you got us coffee yet? No, I have not got us coffee I yet. I asked you that knowing you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you can see this cake coffee. But how we, we have, I mean, for the last few months, we've had a breakfast buffet at hotels every yeah, morning. it's crazy. So we know yeah, what's good. We know what good we choice. like. It's a very good choice here. And Coda's got a great range on his little butterfly plate. Definitely. When you portray that. Yeah. Uh, egg. Is that your egg? Yeah, personally, I like the choice of proteins. There's fish, there's bacon, there's gammon ham, pork sausage, chicken sausage. The eggs are all made fresh. They're not holding any fried eggs here, which I really like as well. Lucy's gone to get some coffee. We will do a coffee taste test. If the coffee is good, then we can give this breakfast buffet final rating. But so far, it's very good. This is going to determine our full rating on this breakfast buffet. Ooh, going in for the second sip, just to make it's sure. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's good for a breakfast buffet. I wouldn't expect like barista level coffee here. Okay, but maybe you would have the best rated maybe. hotel in Singapore. Maybe. So on first look around here, I thought it had actually lost a little bit of that luxury edge. It looks a little bit more. I know it's colourful. It looks a bit more fun. But actually walking around, I've realised that the range and variety of food is crazy. It's immense. There's a salad bar, there's a Japanese area, there's a noodle station, there's seafood, sushi, there's a whole dessert section if dessert for breakfast is your thing. All your usual things you'd find on an English breakfast. People making omelettes. So in terms of variety of food, very, very strong. Taking a walk now around 10 minutes away from the hotel, you arrive at this beautiful area. It's called Orchard Street Road. or Road? Road. Orchard Road. Beautiful. It's like a high street, so nice. there's high end shopping malls and it's just stunning like the way the city is mixed with the green really really beautiful we did so just nice. have to go into a clinic that we yes. found in the mall because lucy has an ear infection sadly coda had an ear infection now mummy's got an ear infection and it's been really hurting like it's been bad all week but today has been really bad and it just hurts to eat to talk to drink to vlog you're welcome guys uh so i just saw a doctor and it was quite expensive because we're used to the NHS in the UK which is free and like an £8 set fee for whatever medication you need. So that was 127 Singapore dollars for the consultation, some eardrops, some antibiotics and some other pills. But you've got to do what you've got to do and I'm not and having this pain any longer. Also, we were, we were the only people in there in the queue. Yeah, because it was so expensive, George. Lucy, no one else is paying that. <laughs> Lucy got seen within minutes. Yeah, it was really good. And, and within really about... Nice six or seven minutes yeah. she has the antibiotics that she needs amazing, so yeah. the efficiency and the quality of the service Very top good. notch but yeah Worth you do of course for it, pay for it so now we're heading towards a botanical gardens which we found near the hotel on google maps looks super nice Somewhere grab some coffee this guy to run around yeah have a little walk around get our steps in for the day and just enjoy enjoy this beautiful day in singapore The prince has woken up from his nap and he is ready for a swim and we've come to Splash which is the kids pool here and it looks pretty amazing actually. It's really cool, there's like loads of like water fountains and things for kids to do so we're going to show you it now quickly and then we're going to get some lunch by the pool. Just out of the pool now, had a little swim with Coda and we've stopped our swim to eat some lunch. Coda's got the kids pasta. We've got some chicken satay, the Wagyu beef burger looks very good, it's absolutely ginormous um, and we're just enjoying the lovely views of the pool 
and the cityscape around us is cool being in a swimming pool um, in the middle of a big city it's quite a nice feeling Thank you.